How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use Surfshark. I'll be explaining all the features and functions of Surfshark. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in Surfshark, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full on review. If you'd like to know the ins and outs of the VPN in terms of privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So be sure to check it out before you make your purchase, just so, just so that you know what you're getting yourself into before you get your uh, subscription. So let's get straight into it. Of course, the obvious uh, feature here, which is connect, this is really how you can connect to the VPN. But of course, if you clicked on this video, you're trying to understand the VPN a little bit more. So let's disconnect real quick and uh, really explore what this VPN is about. So first of all, you've got this little button here, which most people, I mean, admittedly, I missed it the first few times I used Surfshark, but when, when I clicked it, I realized how useful it is, especially if you're looking for the lowest ping uh, for your uh, gaming sessions. So this is a very useful feature here, which just gives you a bit of an aggregate, may not be, this, it will not represent your in-game ping, uh, I guarantee you in the game, in, in the in-game ping, you will, your ping will be a little bit lower, but uh, yeah, this will give you an aggregate of what the best um, uh, server could be for uh, ping. So for example, in my case here, it seems like Paris seems to be like a good option for me, as well as Berlin. Uh, it seems like Frankfurt may be even better. So it could be useful if you need it. Next up is static IP. Static IP are a bunch of servers that use the same, the very same IP every time you return to them. So pretty self-explanatory. You've got a bunch of servers here in a, a one, two, three, four, five countries. Multi-hop is double VPN from NordVPN. If uh, you're not familiar with it, what double VPN does is that it routes your connection through two servers and two IP addresses rather than just one for extra security, just double the security, really, it's as simple as that. For features, you've got clean web, which will block ads, trackers and malware, there's nothing you've got nothing to lose by keeping this one on at all times. And then you've got a uh, whitelister, which will help you bypass or uh, route certain applications through the VPN. So you can select, let's say, let's say I want my entire connection to be uh, left alone, while only these two selected applications are routed through the VPN. So uh, for example, if I want my torrenting client to be routed through the VPN, such as you can see, it's already uh, selected here, Qubit Torrent. I only want my um, torrenting client to use the VPN so that uh, it's secured and uh, protecting whatever uh, information I'm downloading there. I can do that while my entire connection is left intact without being touched by the VPN. You can also use uh, this feature here, but uh, yeah, you can use, let's say, uh, certain IP addresses or websites to bypass the VPN. So, for example, you can put in YouTube here and it won't be affected by the VPN, or you can just uh, select route through the route via the VPN and just select the entire browser here with Chrome, for example. But uh, yeah, can be very useful. And uh, let's just go back and actually I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off, turn it on, um, turn it off. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna go back. Let's head into the settings. There's really not much with Surfshark. It's a super easy VPN to use. You've got dark mode and light mode. Definitely don't want light mode, so I'm not going to restart it. So connectivity here, you've got the kill switch, which will disable your internet when your VPN disconnects unexpectedly, which can be very useful, especially if you're in censorship heavy countries and you don't want any leaks happening. So definitely something to consider. As it says here, kill switch keeps you safe by only allowing internet access while Surfshark is connected. So yeah, it can be useful if you're interested in something like that. Auto connect is very self-explanatory. So uh, you can uh, have your VPN auto connect, let's say when you first launch and you can select which server to connect it to. Uh, and you can add your you can add trusted Wi Fi networks here. So um, let's say the moment you connect to a public Wi Fi, and it's or any Wi Fi network that's not on this list, Surfshark will immediately auto connect. So that can be very useful uh, to keep you secured on public Wi Fi. So I'm just going to turn that off because I don't need it right now. And you've got advanced and advanced, you've got a handful of protocols, uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
Um, and all these protocols are actually very good protocols. For the most part, you're going to want to use WireGuard at all times. This is the best performing and fastest protocol. And, uh, you know, nine times out of 10, you're not, you're not going to need anything else besides WireGuard. It's the best protocol. But if you're in a censorship heavy country, let's say you're having trouble accessing certain websites because there is a censorship firewall, such as in China with the Great Firewall of China, Shadow Socks will help you do that. But keep in mind that it will only secure your browser traffic. Uh, so keep that in mind. But Shadow Socks will help you uh, bypass censorship firewalls if it's not working. Uh, what you can do, of course, is also uh, you can stay on WireGuard, but turn on no borders mode, which will help you bypass uh, internet restrictions such as the Great Firewall of China, as it says here, here. So if you're in a country where VPN usage is restricted, this may mean that you will have trouble connecting to some servers uh, and using the app. So uh, for the most people, this will apply to people in China or other um, very restrictive countries. Uh, you've got a speed test to give you sort of an idea of, uh, you know, the download speed, upload speed, as well as uh, latency or ping. And uh, it really is as simple as that. Surfshark is just one of the easiest VPNs to use. It allows for up to, well, an unlimited amount of uh, devices to be secured with just one subscription, which is one of its biggest selling points. Usually other VPNs uh, will only allow for that if you install it or if you install said VPN on the router, in which case anything that's connected to that router will be secured. So in that way you can uh, secure an unlimited amount of devices. But with Surfshark, you don't need a router uh, or a $200 router, a compatible router to actually do that. You can just do that with just one subscription on as many devices as you want, which is very cool, very useful. Uh, you've got over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, so plenty of room to hop back and forth between many servers. Very useful uh, VPN, really very budget friendly, and especially if you're gaming, uh, you're gonna notice that Surfshark provides some of the best ping results uh, you'll be getting with uh, gaming. So that'll be it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in Surfshark, definitely check the links uh, this in the description down below, you'll find links to special discounts and uh, updated pricing as well as an in-depth review if you're interested in Surfshark. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.